you can now support this channel on Patreon. Warning, this video is from my perspective only, and as such, should not be taken too seriously. This entire incredible scene is just awesome to watch. I must say, I'm now really interested in exactly who this Holy Knight is, considering he was able to take down the captain in his demon mode briefly. So that makes him really strong in my book. This entire scene definitely earns the anime 5 more wins for this epic battle between two extremely powerful people. Yet again, a tiny thing here that most people could easily miss, but Ban teasing King by poking his injury is just brilliant. These two minutes are full to the brim with character building moments for Ban, taking his character in a great new and different direction. We learn of his inner turmoil regarding Captain and his special demon ability, but also we learn of his plan to revive Elaine. I loved this moment because we got to see way more of his reasons for fighting than ever before. The Seven Deadly Sins is now going to actually build this character's background and personality and family life. Here's a character likely pretty much hated by all viewers and even she is getting some story time to let us know why she does what she does. And I for one think that is incredible. Beautiful scenery and vivid colours are extremely pleasing to my eyes, and thus are worth an easy win. So guys, at this point in time I'll be removing 5 wins, and a lot of you are probably shocked by that, and many of you likely aren't, namely those of you who have watched a lot of my videos. Basically I am a huge animal lover, I care about literally all animals, and I have many myself who live extremely happy and healthy lives getting far more than any animal of their kind normally would. What I take offence to in this scene is that 3 of the rabbits are shown to still be alive, and I hate that. Animals are defenceless, and while I am very conscious that this is just an anime and it's not real, I've always believed in setting an example to care for all animals regardless. So sorry if this annoys you, feel free to tell me in the comments, but that's that. <laughs> and the anime already regains one lost win with this hilarious moment. <coughs> nice... sword. Adding 5 wins here for this battle and everything that happens in between that's full of thrills, excellent voice acting and animation, and just overall awesomeness. Oh shit, now this was really unexpected for me, and originally I was going to add a win for the anime giving us another look into the life of a character we will barely know, but now this changes everything and makes it even better than it already was because it's connected. I actually genuinely felt terrible for this guy and what he had to go through after having been turned into that monster. This was such a genuinely sad scene for me, seeing this guy who was a great dad and only trying to do good, forced into this monster to kill. Watching him become friends with lust and enjoy being read to was a very specific trait of the armoured monster, and as such it was an excellent way for us to see him as something very close to human that's suffering. His parting words with lust were also very sad, how he thanked him for becoming his friend where no one else would. Man, it really got to me to be honest. I'll add 5 wins for this I think. Okay, so at this point in time, I have to come straight out and admit that in the first two quarters of this anime, I never actually watched the OPs. I'm sorry, it's just a habit of mine that I really should learn to change because there's so many great ones out there. So I went back and I checked out the first half's OP and it's really very good, and I just did the same for the second half, it's very good as well. So here I'll add 10 wins, which is 5 for both, and hopefully that will make things right between me and this awesome anime.
Once again, scenes like this are one of the many reasons that I love anime. Sometimes it's just really nice when there's some downtime for the characters to chill and have fun like this. For me personally, it helps to continue building characters and their personalities in my head, and over time I find myself beginning to gravitate towards certain characters based upon how they act. It's the reason why I can so vividly remember characters like Ed and Al from Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, and why I can easily recall the apartment in Steinsgate and everyone who worked there. Oh man, I love scenes like this so damn much. It just gives us great examples of how each sin interacts with the other ones on the team. Like here, I got from the scene right away that King is the character who they'd all lightly tease, whereas Ban wouldn't be treated in that way due to his tougher character. This is just what I got from the anime though, of course, as everyone is different, but I think the positive win remains regardless. <laughs> This here is lovely, because not only is it great how they mix in CGI with the hand-drawn animation, but Diane's little moment here was really sweet, especially her voice at the end. So, two wins here. <laughs> this is so f***ing awesome! Seriously guys, how cool was this? At this point in time it doesn't even feel like it's a chore working on this series because I'm enjoying it so much. I just wish the same applied to my TV Sins videos. <laughs> It's brilliant getting to see the new team member's abilities, and it's very shocking what he can actually do with them as well. I really loved seeing this cool dude's power, and it's exciting to once again see Diane in the same room with this guy who clearly likes her. So it's going to be really interesting to see exactly what goes down from here on between them. Ho <laughs> <laughs> ho holy shit, that was one hell of a simple but very insanely cool moment. I just knew this guy was going to be really powerful and this is going to be entertaining. My god, this is like a proper emotional time in this episode. It's really hitting me what's happening to poor Diane, but I have a strong feeling it's hopefully about to turn around. This just nicely links into exactly what I've been saying in terms of prior character building scenes being utilised in a fantastic way to make me actually care what's about to happen. For the animators creating such a beautiful set of scenes one after another, and for managing to successfully make this emotional, I'll add 10 wins here. Awesome. Okay, I'm officially giving this 10 wins for this incredible scene. It's just so f***ing badass and it's really got me ramped up now for the coming battles. Here on out, if there's something really cool that I see, I'll simply add a win and move on so as not to bog everyone down with overly long periods of dialogue. Enjoy! <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
I think them doing this time lapse thing is brilliant, giving us a fantastic look back at what the city used to look like before everything went badly. It's also awesome to be able to see everyone when they were younger and how things used to be. I think it was a really nice touch to add this as it continues to give me an excellent idea as to what their world looks and feels like. Oh my f***ing god, this is really emotional and edge of your seat entertainment. That last scene was simply put absolutely brilliant. Then to top it all off, King arrives and my god, I cannot wait to see what's about to happen. Five wins here. Adding another five wins here and this is really going to get tense. Plus added into those five wins was the fact that I started to get quite emotional when King was punching the Holy Knight down to the bone because of what happened to Diane. That really got to me to be honest. Thank you to the following patrons. Nathan Burr, Gabby Z, Vupu, Leon Lutger, Joaquin Jimenez Villaluenga, and to all of the other patrons supporting me. Thank you. Reach the wizard. Reach the wizard. Reach the wizard.